So if you guys are going to look at this, we know all the way around a circle is pi, correct? OK. You guys agree with me, that's the same thing as 4 pi over 4. Same thing, correct? So if I was going to draw an angle, 5 pi over 4, that's just going to be an extra 5 pi over 4. Does everybody kind of see that? It's just a little extra over there. It's past pi. So therefore, if I wanted to figure out what the reference angle is, so if halfway around a circle, if halfway around a circle is 4 pi over 4, and I went to 5 pi over 4, my reference angle is the difference between those two. So if theta prime, I gave you guys these formulas, is equal to 5 pi over 4 minus 4 pi over 4, which is equal to pi over 4, right? So in reality, I just want to figure out what is the sign of pi over 4. Because did I give you a quick conversion of 5 pi over 4? No, we're going to learn that later. But do we have a quick conversion for pi over 4? Yes, it's the same thing as what? 45 degrees. And I'm trying to get you guys to have these 30, 60, 90 triangles memorized. Because if you have these memorized, you could quickly do. So what is the sign of 45 degrees? Yeah, it's going to be radical 2 over 2, or 1 over the square root of 2. But when you rationalize the denominator, it's square root of 2 over 2. However, here's where reference angles, here's where everybody needs to pay attention. Did anybody have any questions on how I got to this point? Anyway, I mean, just ask. I mean, you want me to explain further and more in depth? Ask. So to get to that, you have to reduce it basically to the 5 pi over 4. It's like below 180, right? We can't make a triangle that's below 180. Right, yeah, you can't make a triangle for that theta. So basically, we're using that. But, and this is a little bit different, though. But yes, exactly. You're trying to figure out what the sign is of theta, right? So that's why reference angles are so helpful. However, there's one little caveat that people are going to get this wrong. If you're using the reference angle, you have to understand what quadrant the terminal side lies on. So of this angle, where, what quadrant does my terminal side lie? third quadrant. Is sine positive or negative in the third quadrant? Negative. negative. So guess what? Pi over 2, or square root of 2 over 2, is incorrect. It's negative square root of 2 over 2, because it's the sine. right? If I said, what is the tangent of 5 pi over 4, that would just equal 1. right? And it's positive, because tangent is positive in the third quadrant. The cosine would also be negative, right? So and when you're using the reference angles, that's perfectly fine. Just make sure you know what quadrant your terminal side or your triangle lies on. Yes? I didn't. I didn't. I was just doing a different trigonometric function. I was just saying, what if I asked you also what was tan of 5 pi over 4? Well, we know tangent of 5 pi over 4 is the same thing as tangent of pi over 4. That's what I just explained about reference angles. These are exactly the same. Because you subtract, you find that's the reference angle. That's the reference angle of that. That's the green. That's the black. 5 pi over 4 is here. That's pi over 4. That's the reference angle. The reference angle and the angle are exactly the same. So it doesn't matter if you do tangent of 5 pi over 4 or tangent of pi over 4. You're going to get the same value. But the tangent in the third, since this angle lies in the third quadrant, tangent is going to be positive. And, but sine and cosine is negative. And if you guys were to type this in your calculator, just, I mean, go ahead. If you want to convert your calculator to radians, type in the sine of 5 pi over 4. You're going to get a decimal approximation. But guess what? It's going to be negative. 